I made this cowl with worsted weight yarn and a size I or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and it's eight repeats of a 10 stitch stitch pattern. And after I made it, I decided that if I were to try it on, putting my thumb through the big hole in the pattern, I could probably figure out how many repeats it would take, not that one, this hole in the pattern, I could probably figure out how many repeats it would take to make a wristlet out of it as well. And so I determined that uh, three repeats was going to work. So I'm going to demonstrate how to make the cowl by also showing you how to make a wristlet. And what we're going to do is work in the round, which is something that's a little bit different with a, within a stitch pattern like this. You have two choices when you're working in the round, and that can be to join your round or to work in a spiral. And for this pattern, because of the post stitches, I thought the pattern would be a lot more seamless if we worked in a spiral. So let me show you how we do that. I'm going to tie a knot onto my crochet hook. You could do a slip knot if you like, but I prefer a regular knot. We're going to chain three repeats of our 10 stitch stitch pattern, which means we're going to chain 30. And then to make the cowl, we actually did 80. So we're just going to do 30 this time. You're going to join in a ring without twisting your chain. So see how all the chains facing up? We want to make sure that we slip stitch into the first one without twisting that chain. And we'll slip stitch right into that first chain. We're going to chain four, which count as a double crochet, chain one, skip one stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, that's a yarn over, insert your hook in the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, you now have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to skip the next three chains, one, two, three, and we're going to double crochet into the next chain. And then we're actually doing a shell in this chain, so we're going to be doing three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets. So we will repeat that, yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We'll now do that a third time. Chain one, and three more doubles in that same chain. Okay, we're going to skip the next three chains, and when you do a big shell in there, sometimes that next chain is going to get a little tight, so you want to make sure you count correctly. So that would be skip one, two, three chains, then we're going to double crochet in the next chain. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next chain. And now we're going to skip two, three, and work three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, all in this next chain. Okay, we'll now skip the next three. Skip one, two, three, double crochet in the next chain. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next chain. And then we'll skip three and work three double crochets. Chain one, three double crochets all in that next chain. Okay, now comes the change part. Normally, we'd now slip stitch into the third chain of that first chain four, because that counted as the double crochet portion. But what I'm so now what I'm suggesting is that we're going to start our next round without joining off and finishing this round. We're going to work in a spiral, which means we don't join off at the end of each round. So the beginning of the next round would be to work a post stitch around this first double crochet chain one and a post stitch around that next one. 
So we're going to now just post stitch, front post, double crochet around that chain, chain one, and then work a front post double crochet around the next double crochet. So it's yarn over your hook, insert from front to back, right to left, around the post of the next stitch. Okay, and then we're going to work our shell, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets in that chain one space. Okay, so now we're going to skip over to our next double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and now we're going to work a front post double crochet. So yarn over your hook, insert front to back, right to left, around the post of that next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain one, and work a front post double crochet around the next one as well. Okay. And now we're going to work our shell in the chain one space. So it's three double crochets. Chain one, three doubles. And now we'll skip across and front post double crochet around the next double crochet, chain one, front post around the next double crochet and skip over to the next chain one space where we'll work our next shell, three doubles, chain one, and three doubles. Now we've come to the end of our round again and we're not going to join off, we're just going to begin our next round which is to work a post stitch around that last post stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook front to back, right to left, around the post of that double crochet. Yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Chain one, and front post double crochet around the next stitch. And then we're gonna skip over to the center of our shell to work our shell in that chain one space. It's just three doubles, chain one, and three doubles. Okay, we'll work a front post double crochet around the next front post stitch, chain one, post stitch around the next post stitch, skip across to the chain one space in the middle of the shell, work our shell in that chain one space, which is three doubles, chain one, and three doubles. Okay, work a post stitch around our next post stitch, chain one, and a post stitch around our next post stitch, and skip across to the chain one space in the middle of the next shell, and we'll work our shell in that chain one space. Okay, and that's the end of our round. So what we're doing is to offset the pattern like you see here, there's three rounds where the shell's there, then the next three rounds are where the shell is there, and the post stitch follows along. So what we're going to do now is start our, the, the offset portion of the pattern, but we also have to work in a spiral, not a round. So the next round begins, the next round, with a post stitch around the post stitch and then work our shell in this chain one space which will be three doubles chain one and three doubles so the pattern is always going to be three double crochet chain one three double crochet post stitch chain one post stitch the difference is going to be where you put the where you put the shells the post stitches are always going to be over those two post stitches. Then post stitch, front post double crochet around the next post stitch, chain one, skip the shell here, 
and post stitch, front post double crochet around the next post stitch and work our next shell in this chain one space. Just three doubles, chain one, and three doubles. So now we'll work our post stitch, front post double crochet around the next post stitch, chain one, skip that shell, and work front post double crochet around the next one. We're always going to work our post stitches over those post stitches. The only thing that changes is whether we put a chain one over the shells or a chain one over the col or, or a shell or a chain one over the shells or shell over the shells and a chain one over the columns or a shell over the columns. So now we're doing we're changing the pattern so our shells are in the offset position. So now we'll work three double crochets chain one and three double crochets in that chain one space over the column. So now we'll post stitch, front post double crochet around the next post stitch, chain one, and skip that next shell. Okay, that round is complete, so now we're going to work two more rounds in that position. So we're going to work a shell in the shell, work a post stitch, chain one post stitch, and then work a shell in the shell. We'll set that down so you can see. See, we're, we're on our second round in this position now. So we're working shells over shells and chain ones over chain ones in between the post stitches. So now we'll come over here and we'll work front post double crochet around this post stitch, chain one, front post double crochet around this post stitch, and then a shell and a shell. Just three double crochets, chain one, Three double crochets. And again, this is three repeats. It would have been eight if I was doing the cowl for this one. Front post double crochet, chain one, front post double crochet. And we're now at the beginning of our third round, which will be the last round in this position before we move back to the original position. Okay, we're back to the end now and see we have our three shells there and we've just finished our three shells here. So now we're going to work a front post double crochet around the post stitch. But now we're going to go back and begin our shell in this position again. So we'll do three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, and work the next post stitch, front post double crochet, chain one, skip that whole shell section, and front post double crochet around the next post stitch. See, so you'll end up creating these curvy lines because we're either working increases or decreases within each of those chain one spaces. Now I'll show you what I mean on the finished one here. 
Well, let's look at it this way so you can see how you actually work. So this was our beginning chain. We did the shells for three rounds with the columns of post stitch, chain one post stitch for three rounds. Then we moved over and did the shells in the columns and did the chain one between the post stitches over the shells. And so every three rounds you alternate between three shells and three columns of posts and back and forth. And by doing that you get this beautiful curvy line from the post stitches. Isn't that beautiful? So you want to just continue in that pattern for the length of whatever you're making, whether it's a cowl or wristlets or whatever. You would just continue in the pattern for as long as you need.